A stone is thrown with an initial speed of 4.9 meter per second from a bridge in vertically upward direction. It falls down in water after two seconds. The height of the bridge is. Okay, this is a very good question. Let's first draw a diagram and then the concept will become really clear. So we have a bridge here. And say this is the water. A ball is projected from this point, from the bridge, top of the bridge. It will reach its maximum height. It will come back to the original height. And from there, it will move. It will move and eventually reach the water. So, let us now mark the position. So, this is position A, this is P, and this I would say is C, and this is D. Okay. Mm, now, Sign convention, all of it we will we'll discuss. Don't worry, we will discuss all those things in detail. So, the body is being projected from A. It will slowly move upwards. The velocity, the velocity will reduce. It will reach B and then the velocity will increase. Here, the velocity would be equal to 0. right? So, VB is equal to 0. The velocity would be VC and here the velocity would be VA or let us say this is u, right? This is u, which is velocity at a, and this is c, velocity at c. And we should understand that velocity at c would basically be equal to velocity at a. Okay, let us use u a for more better understanding of the question. Okay, now the whole time of flight is given to be, it will fall after two seconds, right? So time of a B plus time of B C plus time of C D is given to be two seconds. U A is given to be four point nine seconds. What I've been asked to find out height of the bridge. Now, see, you guys, I'll first I'll explain you the most direct and the most convenient way of solving the question, what I'll do is, I'll consider the motion so say for example, I'll consider the motion only between the initial and final position. What is the initial position? The initial position is A and the final position is D. Okay. Now, the body is at A here. Ideally, the body, sh the body should be at D here. Right. So, this is the initial and the final position. This much would be, would be what? This much would be the Yes, you guessed it correct. This much would be the displacement. Now coming up to the, the sign convention. So, as usual, the body is projected from A, right? So, the veloc initial velocity is along the positive direction. Acceleration to the gravity is along the negative direction. So, we'll take this as positive and this as negative. So, we have the initial velocity as positive and acceleration to the gravity as negative. So, now you may ask, uh, what about the direction of displacement? I'll come to it. I'll come to it and then I'll explain you the difference also. So, let us first write the, find out the displacement, then I'll, we'll discuss about the direction. So, what is the equation of displacement time relation? S is equal to ut plus half a t square. Do not write down the sign convention directly, at least for the time when you practice. 
So what is S? S here would be this displacement, right? And what is that displacement? It is the height from which the body is launched, which basically is the height of the bridge, right? So let us use the you know, um, height of the bridge, HB. So displacement is height of the bridge, which is equal to, what is U? U is the velocity at which it launched, which is 4.9 meter per second. What is time? Time taken for this displacement is two seconds. So this is two plus half into, what is A? A is minus G, which is minus 9.8. What is T? T is two square. So this would be equal to 4.9 into two plus minus 4.9 because 9.8 by 2 is minus 4.9 into 4. So here I'll take 4.9 as common, right? So what else do we have? 2 plus, okay, some students have doubt in so taking terms common. I'll clarify that also. See, while taking a term common, what you do is, Say for example, if this is, you are taking 4.9 common from this, just write down 4.9 and then write the entire equation, right? And then write the entire equation and then divide it by 4.9. So essentially you have multiplied and divided by the same number. So the value remains the same. Some of the students may have a doubt there also. See for example, if you have X, if you multiply x into y and divide it by y, you have the same number, x again. So very similarly, we have multiplied this with 4.9 and divided by 4.9. Now, what happens? What we get is 4.9 into 4.9 and 4.9 will buy become 1, 2 plus 4.9 and 4.9 will cancel. We get minus 1, minus 1 into 4 is minus 4. So this will be equal to 4.9 into 2 minus 4 is minus 2 which is basically equal to minus 9.8 meters. Now you'll ask me, so what is the meaning when a displacement is minus 9.8 meter? There's a difference. There is a difference. It goes like this. I didn't say that the, the displacement as such is negative. No, the direction of the displacement, when you say the whole, the comp, the, you know, the, the whole picture is negative which means the magnitude is 9.8 meter taken in the opposite direction. So the object was moving like this towards upward. Right? This was the direction of motion in the initial position. And here the displacement is, is not along the direction of displacement. It is against the direction of displacement. I'll explain it once again. The initial position is over here at A. The direction of motion is along B, but the displacement is at C, which is against the initial position. If the object was at C here, the displacement would be positive. Since the object is at C, which is against the motion of the initial motion of direction, the displacement would be negative. A concept that we need to understand, that we need to get ourselves very clear with because without which it almost becomes impossible to score well in projectile motion. This is the very important concept to clear with. Okay. Right. So the magnitude of displacement is minus 9.8, which means the distance is or, or, or I'll, I'll just explain you one more time. See the, the displacement is given to be minus 9, we determined it to be minus 9.8, which means the magnitude of displacement, which is the length alone is 9.8 meter. Simple. What is the length alone? The length alone is height of the bridge. So the correct option would be option C.